What's up guys, it's Jake with JT Calls and today we're going back to the basics. We're going to work on the quack and then we're going to work on a series of quacks. But before we even present air to the call, there's a few fundamentals that we need to grasp first. So first thing, our air is coming from deep in our diaphragm. Hot pressurized air is coming from deep in our lungs and our diaphragm and it's coming straight out of our mouth. We're not puffing our cheeks out, none of that. Our cheeks are going to stay tight. The air is coming straight up and straight out. So now that we have where air is coming from, we need to cut the air off. To end our quack, we're not just going to stop blowing. We're going to cut it off sharp with our tongue. So this is not what we're looking for. We're going to cut it off sharp with our tongue, with a T sound or a K sound. There's that, that's the T sound at the end. That T sound brings the tongue to the roof of your mouth and completely cuts your air off. And that gives you those sharp quacks. And the K sound does the exact same thing. That's just using the middle of your tongue. And there's no real sound difference in those. The main difference in those is with the T sound, you're flapping the tip of your tongue around, and that's allowing a bunch of spit to flow into your call. And we want to try and minimize that as much as possible. The K sound, you keep your tongue, the tip of your tongue anchored behind your uh, bottom row of teeth. And that's allowing a lot more of the spit to stay inside your mouth and not allowing as much to get into the call. Because I get, I know that's a problem a lot of guys have. A whole bunch of people message me, hey, um, every duck call I've ever blown, I stick within three minutes of blowing it, is your call going to be any better? And I try and be nice, but the real answer is, you're not blowing the duck call right. You shouldn't be putting that much spit into it. So if you can utilize that K sound as opposed to the T sound, it's going to keep a lot more of that spit in your mouth and a lot less of it inside your call. And that goes for all your notes. The feed, the Cajun squeal, the bouncing hen, the quack, the hail, everything. You can all do those with a K sound instead of a T, and that's using the middle of your tongue. So now that we've got the quack, we're just going to practice that. If you're just starting out, do that over and over and over. It's a very important sound to master because every single note in your whole duck call vocabulary is based off that quack. Now you have your quack and then your hail, which is a series of quacks strung together. Your feed call is a bunch of cut up quacks and everything's built from that. So once you've done the quack hundreds of times and you have it mastered, you can do it every single time perfect, we can start stringing a couple of those together. So we'll do two. And then once you get two, you can do three and then four. And then as you get better, you can, you know, space them closer together. I'm not necessarily blowing harder at the beginning and softer at the ending. The notes are just getting shorter. The first one's longer, the second one's a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter. All the way down to the bottom. So once you've got your quack and you've strung five or seven of them together to get your greeting call, in my opinion, that's all you need to kill ducks. Yes, it's fun and cool to get, you know, the bouncing hand and the Cajun squeal and a super fast feed call and it all helps. It's awesome. But just the bare meat and potatoes of killing ducks, you need a good quack and a good greeting call. So don't try and go too fast too soon. Take it slow and have fun with it. I hope this video helped you and we'll see you on the next one.